Hi there, it's Katrin, welcome to the gym. This video is a Q&A, so it's an answer to a question that's come in from a subscriber, which is, how do I create the width in my shoulders? How do I create the bump? If you look at someone from the front and they have developed shoulders, they have a very obvious bump where their deltoid hits the upper part of their arm. How do you create that? Is that born or is that trained? And my answer to that is, it is definitely trained. I mean, some people have naturally uh, more muscular um, frames than others, but everyone can develop the, the bump here. It's just about specific exercises. And I'm gonna show you four exercises in this video that if you do them, you will get that very defined, um, very attractive rounded to the top shoulder before you hit the bicep and the tricep. So the first um, um, exercise I'm gonna show you is a, is, a, is a superset. So it's two exercises together, which I would use near the end of my shoulder routine. I tend to do my shoulder routine to the, to the front of the delt first, then I'll do the mid delt, which is where you get your um, a curve here and then I do my rear delt so I do this around about the middle to, to near the end of my routine so I'm going to use a bench for this so I'm going to sit down and that's why I'm quite close in so you can get a good view as usual I will demonstrate the exercise first then come back and explain the technicals Okay, right, so let me put my weights down. What I've done there is I have put two, two mid delt exercises together. The first one is a classic lateral raise. So you're taking the dumbbells, if I bring the butt up again, from the front, just the front of your body, you're lifting them to the side. But what you're doing to make sure that you use, because you're looking to use, you're not looking to use the traps and you're not looking to use any part of your shoulder except your mid delt. In order to do that, when you pick the weights up, as you lift, it's all you must think about these almost like the jugs of water, and you're pouring water as you lift. So you twist as you lift. So you're literally you're pouring out the water from the jug as you lift. Now, it's important to, to, to twist before you lift. What you don't want to do is lift and then twist, because that doesn't do anything, okay? Twist and lift. If you do that, you will find that the exercise, sorry, it's a very windy day, and so I've got an open window at one end, which is why we didn't noise. So as you lift, if you twist, it is much more difficult then simply, if I don't lift, don't twist and lift, it's easy peasy. And I can feel, when I do that movement, I can feel I'm using my traps. I'm not trying to use my traps, I'm trying to use my mid delt. So it's this movement, twist. You wanna keep your midsection nice and tight and you wanna concentrate. With a lot of um, weights, the important thing here is to concentrate on the muscles you're using to make sure you can feel them and you know it's working. You may think that sounds a bit weird, but it's like any other form of sort of very physical type of training, like for example, any skills base. So, tennis or anything like ballet where you're, you, you are using certain muscles trying to get a certain type of form of more movement it's important that you listen to what your body's doing so you, as you come up you should be able to feel your mid delt working in this movement okay so you're doing this you're going to do eight of those now you will do that as a if you're a learner then you probably start start quite light because you're looking to tr really not struggle with form until at least six if you've done no weights at all then don't even start with eight reps start with 10 to 12 reps and work your way down as you increase weight but if you've done some weights and this is just adding this to your routine aim for eight because that's the bodybuilding zone you should be struggling by six so judge the weight of the, the um, weight of that don't worry about anybody else in the gym what they say don't worry about the guys who are you know picking up the 30, 35 kilo weights it's irrelevant you just want the right weight to get the right form because that's what will make your muscles grow okay so that first exercise i showed you was a lateral raise okay the second exercise is similar but you do it seated and i would do it back to back this is one of the exercises that i always do as a superset so what you're doing is you're seated and you've just got similarly got you can have the same or similar maybe slightly heavy weights in your hands you're going to place your palms, palms forward and they're literally just going to lift in an arc now you're not you're not lifting straight forward because that would use your front delts and you're not lifting straight to the side because you'll tend to find that you'll use your traps you're going to move your arms in an arc between the side and the front so it's sort of to the front again it's a sort of superman type movement it's this movement okay and you can feel absolutely feel the peak of your mid delt working here on this so 
why we do this as a super set with the first one, okay? Now, as with the other exercise, try and do eight. If you've done some weights already, then go straight to the bodybuilding zone and try and do eight. And you should be struggling in terms of the weight by six. So if you're not struggling, then add some weight on. If you can't do more than about five, you're too heavy, you need to go lighter. And I put these two together. So the way you superset them, if you haven't done supersets before, is you literally smash the two exercises together. So you'll do the lateral raise, do eight of those and go straight into this seated raise. Do eight of those, then you rest. 15 seconds, start again. I, I believe in minimal rest between sets because I, number one, I'm not into standing for hours and hours in a gym. And number two, because if you stand, if you're in a gym for any length of time, more than about an hour, your body actually starts to break down, not build up. And that's not what you want, obviously, you're trying to build muscle. So those two exercises together is a great way to get a pump in your mid delts. So that's the first exercise. Now I'm going to show you two more that I really, really like. Now these, I'll get the bench out of the way. They look deceptively easy. They burn like anything. So let me just get this bench out of the way and I'll show you. Right, okay, so again, pick up some light weights, probably these ones. I'm going to demonstrate first and then I'll show you what I'm doing, I'll explain. I'm just coming down slightly so that you can see me. Okay, right, I told you these exercises would dis look deceptively easy. The first exercise, which I call the robot, is something I do again at the end of my routine. Generally when I'm doing these sorts of exercises, they're isolation exercises, I would have done my compound exercises, things like my squats and my um, chest press, all those types of exercises I've done first, these come near the end of my routine. Now, the first exercise, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Okay, now. All I do with this one, keep my arms relaxed, try and make sure that my shoulders are doing all the work. You lift to the front, you move to the side, you come down. You're not moving your hands, you're trying minimal movement in your body, everything is in your shoulders. That is one rep. So it's up, side, down, up, together, down, one rep. Now, you do that at least 12 reps, that will burn, I tell you. You'll need to start pretty light. With a woman, you might start at one kilo. With a man, you might start at 2.5. You will struggle with that exercise, particularly for near the end of your shoulder routine. So I also, because I like to really make it intense, as I, I will do this exercise with the other exercise I showed you, which is what I call around the world, which is when you start with your dumbbells, if I come back a bit, start with my dumbbells in front of me. I'm not resting on my thighs, that's a rest. I'll start in front of me, and I'm literally just lifting them above my head. Bringing them back down again. Above my head. I just feel now, having done these already, my, my shoulders feel fantastically warm now. I'd say that my shoulders is probably the most favourite. I, I vacillate. I different. I enjoy different uh, exercise, different times. I like my shoulders and chest at the moment. I, I even go through periods where I like my legs, but that's leg exercises are hard. So it's that. It's over around the world. So literally, you're just touching them at the bottom, and you're touching them. You see at the top. Okay. Those two. Are fantastic for working your shoulders in a full range of motion. I also like them because they're lateral movements. A lot of what we do when we bodybuild it is backwards and forwards, it's push and pull, and you can get quite rigid. So anything where you work some lateral movement into your routine is really good for your flexibility for the way that you move. It's important, you know, although we are all about looking fit and healthy, if you do too much in one plane or just two planes, you will start to look quite muscle bound. I know some guys quite like that look. I personally, I'm not looking to develop that in my clients. I'm developing a, an all over a fit look, but also a lithe, athletic and graceful look. If I think about my hero, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he was obviously a 
champion of champions. He went number one to ballet classes to learn to be graceful, and number two, he got had some British bodybuilders, a couple actually, who helped him learn how to move because when he finished his first championship in London, he was stiff as a board and he looked great, but he just moved in a way that wasn't very inspiring. And he had a British couple that worked with him, they worked with music with him to teach him how to move. That he helped him to become the, you know, the really great bodybuilder that he was. So these movements are obviously great for your shoulders, but also great for giving you more work in a lateral plane, which is really good for your body. So if you do those exercises, the supersets, you can do either or both. You will start to develop the bump that you want here. And that's male and female. Um, it is, you know, I think one of the most attractive things that you can get if you decide to bodybuild is to actually start to get definition in your arms. It's not easy, it takes time. What happened overnight, I did a previous Q&A where someone asked what they could do for summer and it was like three weeks before summer. There was an awful lot I could do. With this type of exercise, if you build it into your routine and do it over the, you know, regularly, in the same way as you do other, your other exercises, other types of exercise, for the next year, by next summer, you'll have a really good set of really defined arms and shoulders. So give it a go. Give me, if you've got any questions, then just send them through to this channel. Just put them in the comment section below. I answer all the questions. You can also reach me on our Facebook page, which is www.facebook, sorry, www.facebook.com forward slash 3Ps Media. Um, if you are interested in any of the workouts, if you look at the playlist on this channel, I've got three broad sets of weights workouts I've done. I've got a beginner's, which is called a 15 minute shape up, which is at W, you can also get the written program. If you go on to www.3pspublishing.com forward slash 15 hyphen minutes hyphen shape up, I'll put the, don't worry, I'll put the details probably in a bubble on this video and also in the notes. And that's 15 minutes to add to any routine you've got already. So it's how to add some weights to a routine without, you know, blowing out what we currently do. Um, I've also got the next up for level up, which is the whole body workout. And that is, um, again, that you can, it's the, if you look at the playlist, there's a playlist on this channel. You can also um, download, download the written program. And you'll find that at www.3peacepublishing.com forward slash whole hyphen body hyphen workout. Again, I'll put a bubble up in the video and I'll also put some it in the notes. And then the last one, which is if you really want to get into weights, is a, is a two-way two split. It's called a push-pull. It's a real old school uh, uh, weights routine, which is a great one for, look, for starting to get in, really into weights, into compound and weights and, and starting to lift some serious amount of weight. And again, you'll find a, um, a playlist on this channel for that, which has got all the exercises demonstrated for you. The actual routines I've written down for you. And if you again go onto our website, www.3peacepublishing.com forward slash push hyphen pull, you can download free those uh, workouts. So that's what's on this channel. Please join us. It'd be such a pleasure. Um, I would, uh, uh, personal trainer obviously specialising in weights, I'm also a hypnotherapist and a coach so I cover that sort of resilience and mind stuff as well on this channel. A pleasure to have you, thank you so much and I'll see you soon, bye.